This is your daily market recap for Thursday, February 2nd, 2023. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max at XP Realty, aka The Trading Agent. This is your daily market recap for Thursday, February 2nd, 2023. Let's get into it. The trap is being set. That's all I really have to say starting off. Keep it simple. Please stay solvent. Say, stay alive, essentially, because I think you're about to see the short of probably the quarter, maybe the first half of the year, potentially line up here in time. I think a lot of people don't understand how the brain plays with their mind. They're running off of pure chemicals. They go all or nothing. They go too big. They don't set stops as soon as they enter a trade. They look at things from the, I have to know exactly what's happening every single move of every single day versus trying to position themselves for the bigger trades. After hours, you got Apple, Google, Amazon. I mean, it doesn't even matter what their earnings are at this point. They don't look good and they're all down anywhere between one, five percent. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Again, the jobs number is the key for the continuation. I personally think today was the trap. We've talked about this over and over. The Thursday post FOMC day. If you're listening to this video, hit a like, drop a comment. We've talked about this so many times. It's typically the day that matters. The price action today felt very trappish. So we'll go through the video or we'll go through the evidence. You make the decision on your own. Let's talk about it. So if you're in the discord room cool the link is in the description below probably leave this open for a little bit longer again if you come into the room and you don't say anything you don't say what you're looking to do trying to get out of the the, the discord room and you're just kind of lingering i'm gonna give you a boot eh, pretty quickly so just letting you know twitter please follow please follow got a lot of you know updates of constantly what's going on trying to keep people informed of what's happening got some comedy Always got comedy. Try to keep it light. Back to basics. Again, talk about all the different little potential setups, how the market works. Now, again, in a probability space game, the goal isn't to try to assume certainty. It's to essentially know how things are going to play out with the repeating patterns and tendencies. Well, sometimes, what do you think is going to happen? You don't know. And that's the hardest part sometimes is, is like being able to understand like in blow offs, in emotional market moves. You're not going to know every single moment of every day what level everything's going to get to. Now, people will try to pretend that they can do that with high frequency. But as I said, just try to be right about the bigger move. That's ultimately your goal here. It's not to sit here and try to be this omnipotent trader who can't lose because that's not the realization. Like, it's not possible. It's like the holy grail. It's like trying to find the fountain of youth. It just doesn't exist. Your goal is to just trade at a high clip, win, and when you're losing, minimize losses. The Bitcoin, hmm, getting pretty close up there to that 24,000 level. Um, that could be a little bit of an outside reversal action, right? You know, long wick breaks out, gets back in it, keeping on it. Oil at the trend line. We've talked about, man, the market looks so strong, but why is oil lagging? Keep an eye on it. I think it absolutely get back into the 60s or chop around. Something is, again, if economic growth is not falling off a cliff like they try to pretend, which I think it potentially is, it's getting worse. You know, inflation and, you know, you're getting what I essentially said would be the worst case scenario coming. Inflation, entrenching, jobs being lost, data getting worse. Fed pivot? Not yet. Natural gas? Maybe it's going to zero. <laughs> Meaning just about as low as it can go. Everyone's trying to take a stab at it and it just every day, every day it's hustling. It's just blowing people out. Now, again, if you want to trade that, go right ahead. I have no desire to play anything related to natural gas. I told you, I mean, I told a lot of the people, when we got stopped out, we gave up. That was at $5. Now it's cut in half again. It's pretty crazy. It went from 10 down to 2 Now I know. People say, oh, but it's down a ton. Remember, the market can go further up and down than you think. Remember, try to find, like, again, at this point, I know people are saying, oh, it's capitulation. I just don't see any reason to play in this until what it confirms because natural gas is hard y'all it is not i mean certain like to me the indexes are easy gold's easy certain materials or uh, stocks are easy natural gas never been easy for me why i guess because it's a byproduct of a lot of things in the manufacturing process they don't really store it 
it is hard. It's hard. It's hard. I'll say it 17,000 more times and no one will listen and they'll say, all right, well, I'm going to buy natural gas. The dollar. What did we say yesterday? Because I'm going to do a lot of like, hey, this is what we said yesterday. Be on red alert for today. And if you didn't, you just went all in long or you didn't start layering in more shorts aggressively today. You know, you done screwed up. The dollar. We talked about it. Hitting our extreme range. Got there. Now what? Gaps up. Closes up near the highs. All right, sorry. Gaps down and closes back near the highs. Something feels fishy here. Got to watch these levels. TLT, again, I've said for a while, watch what happens up at the range. Highs, gets the 200-day, breaks the trend. Okay, are rates going higher or going lower? I've said this a thousand times. I don't know. I really don't care as long as, again, if the volatility in the bond market picks up, yeah, then we got an issue. But near term, could bonds stay flat as the market pulls back? Could bonds go get bought? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think it's just not the easiest trade. So... When in doubt, you move right along. The VIX, <laughs> unbelievable. Look at this action. Gets down into 17, rallies right back, closes at what? Our inflection point. We'll see what happens here. Because again, I mean, I think you're getting gifts every time this thing dumps to short the market. Spy, now everyone's going, ah, oh, look at this. It looks great. Okay, is this, I just put this out there. I was like, this has to be, with high probabilities, a novice gap. Not the start of the move. It's not like we're breaking away and going to go out to new highs. I mean, we're right here, you know, probably close enough to 420. Could we fill the gap at 421? That's always got to be in the back of your mind. Tomorrow, if you see the market at the open tomorrow, it pops up on the jobs number and it gets there, gets into this 419, 421, whatever, whatever range, keep an eye. Again, watching the ES Futures talked about on the Discord room, Talked on general just said, watch 4,200. It's a big round number. It's a big area of support, resistance. I mean, it was too bad you can't see it. But keep an eye on it. That's where we got to today. And got a little over it. Doink, pulled back. Right? With all the... And again, this feels like such a trap because the liquidity... Remember, we're talking about action potential and liquidity for the market makers to take profits into. Look at this. Just look at this. It's hard. I People are like, oh, but you shorted some down here. I'm like, yeah. My names I have, yes. Spy, tried to get up here at the, the high, added some more today. Again, names that are working are working. Names are not. You just take the, the losses on and you come back later. If you're still short from the spy from down here, you're doing it wrong. Just telling you, you're doing it wrong. QQQ. Blow off into the resistance zone. Good luck with that. Everyone's saying it's a head and shoulders bottom, but now maybe you can make the argument it's a head and shoulders top. Again, I expect choppiness. IWM hit the one. Wow, it hit 199. Um, if you can see, it's interesting. Why is that box not pulled over for some reason? Here we go. Well, it's more like the 199 area. Close enough for government work. If you look at the 20 month. You go look at the weekly. Let me pull it up. I'll just do it real quick. Do, 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 do. Watching it. Watching it. Like, all right. Good luck. Coming into this area. You see the big candles here. The lows here. You see all these wicks. You see these candle tops. We're close. Again, is it ready to roll over doggy? We'll see. The Dia, again, lagging. Merc. Murdered. Not murdered. Down bunch today. Dia not confirming this. Again, Dia not confirming this. Dangerous. Dangerous. Gold. <sighs> you know what? The people who were trolling real hard last couple days, I haven't heard a single word from them saying, congratulations, you were right about gold, that it was a trap up here. Not a single one of you guys, and that's fine. I told you the sentiment was not good for you guys. I told you the action potential was the what? Trap bulls. Feels just like what the market's going to do at some point. Again, I'm going to give myself a high five. Golf clap. Love today's action. If you shorted, and again, and you had time, and the levels were good, because we talked about, all right, you short, you took some profit here. It rallied back Thursday after. Do you not remember? I talked about this. The Fed, I mean, I said this, I think, a dozen times. The day after the Fed started the move. The day after the Fed started the move. Moving right along. Silver. Again, I don't think people take notes, and they just, they, they, I think they think, they remember certain things of what I say, and or they don't watch the videos consistently so that they miss out on some of this stuff. And it, I get it. It's hard. It's hard to remember every single thing. But if you're in the metals, you should know. You should know that the nose knows. Silver. Gaps up. Opens at the range highs. Not bullish. 
GDX, we've talked about the miners not confirming this action. Boop, 20-day, broken, goodbye, maybe. And I'm, I don't mean like a goodbye. I mean like goodbye, potentially. Same thing. Here you go. GDXJ, lagging. You think the juniors would be leading as they usually, usually do in a bold move. Pulling back, making a new low today, closing below the 20-day. Keep an eye on it. AG, been saying for, feels like weeks, months. This thing is not confirming. Still not confirming. Moving right along. AEM, uh-oh. Uh-oh, breaks the 20-day, makes a lower high. Things that aren't bullish. Newmont makes a lower high. Back at the 200-day. If this thing breaks, open the dam for more. Again, if you're short miners, heck yeah. Talked about buying dust. Who remembers that? Me. Gap up. Here you go. Watch the action. Watch the action potential. It's like, what are you talking about? Action potential. It's like, all right, well, I'm just adding new terms. Watch the watch the trade play out. Watch what happens. Keep an eye on things, right? Don't just sit here and go, well, I'm going to bury my head to the potential action, especially when it lines up on the daily, weekly, monthly. Dust, here you go. If you bought this down in the 11s, think you about to get paid, son. Paid, 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 paid. We'll see. Keep an eye on it. Uh, AMD. Whew, glad did not short after earnings. Look what happened today. Another big gap up. The gap up continued. Filled. What is it? This gap? Yeah, filled some gaps. Now what? This one's tough. Now again, this is the thing. If you shorted semis and you just let it run on you, you're not doing it right. You're just not doing it right. Okay? But I know nobody looks at the monthly. This is what's crazy. And again, if you're listening, my man Solomon, check out the monthly. Upper trend line. Where did we... Oh, crap. Back tested it. Keep an eye on it. Oh, but I look at the monthly. No, you don't. You don't go back as far as you can. You go back as far as you think you need to go. And I always tell you, just go back as far until it confirms that there's nothing to see. NVIDIA. Here you go. Nice little pop-up again. If you shorted this, be careful. But now you're getting into... I mean, here you can see the very clear... Do, 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 do. Somewhere around in here. I mean, again, I wish I didn't get stopped out or shorted earlier in certain semis, but it is what it is. <laughs> You're going to take losses. Semiconductor, or Taiwan Semi, said, people, someone said I missed this yesterday. I sincerely apologize. Yes, I did. Here you go. Gaps up. Is it making a lower high? Oh, snap. SMH, right? Just runaway bullish. Okay. Let's see what happens with this little gap here. Getting a little tired. No one's paying attention. They're like, oh, it's got to go. It's got to go higher. Keep in mind, you got some wicks down here. You got some old resistance in this area. I mean, go back in time. The king of head and shoulders. This is what I think is funny. And again, I have this on my monthly. The king in head and shoulders is making the king is becoming, is doing a head and shoulders within a head and shoulders. I, I keep an eye on that. I'm just going to move that box for now. Right? Multiple shoulders, multiple shoulders, multiple shoulders. Well, now you expand it out on the monthly. Oh, snap multiple shoulders just keep an eye again i don't trust semis at all at all at all remember what happens after the semiconductor cycle peaks and it's not semiconductor going away someone's gonna be like oh you're an idiot no their profitability their margins competition it's endless at some point adobe here you go doji gap up mm -mm 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 -mm. apple after hours where are we at uh, da, 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 da. Oops, did I just uh, did I just do something real dumb? No. Uh it's at Oh I'm like, that's not Apple. <laughs> Apple. The fruit. After hours round 148. Hey, what do we say? You can, you can see the alarm went off. Watch the 150 area. Right? Like just look to the left. Look at the volume at price. Say 200 day to this area. Now after hours, down a point or actually down two and a half points. We'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens here. I, this gap probably is a novice gap. I mean, I, talk about gaps after a nice run. I think it goes from 125 up to 150. And now people are going to get bullish on it. Okay. I mean, their numbers, if you look at it, I mean, everything's down, 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 down. Where's the momentum going to come from? Good luck. Amazon. Nice run. Again, you, you try to do your best. 108 gets the 200 day. Nice gap up. Is this exhaustive? I mean, look to the left, right? Like, look to the left. 
nope, 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 nope. They just don't do it. We'll see what happens. I mean, down to 108 after hours below the 200 day. Watch what happens again. I think the market could absolutely unwind all of this pretty quickly or chop out and top out and then do it. Uh, CRM, top of our range. Glad we draw this stuff. Interesting watching it. Guggenheim, after hours, talking about slowing 104s. Gets up above the 200. Look at this gap. Look how big this is. <laughs> so exhaustive. I mean, think about all day the market makers just slowly feeding people buying this. That's how I look at it, right? It's like, don't alert anybody what's going on. We'll see if this gap is a continuation gap or it's a novice gap and rollover. Again, I tech, I don't trust it one bit. Meta. <laughs> wow. Okay. I said, watch what happens today. I guarantee we open up and have a wick. And I put out an alert to short this thing at 195. If you don't know why, let me pull up the other charts. Do, 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 do. Where is it? I think it's the monthly. Yeah. Let me pull it into, said watch. So, I mean, I think I said this in yesterday's recap. Watch the 195 to 200 range. It's massive resistance. It's, it's huge. It's huge, boys and girls. No, it's big. Here you go. Hello, Microsoft. Nicely done. Up 11 points. Got to give that one credit. To the point six one eight. She goes. Try, is it filling the gap? We'll see. Again, I'm not short Microsoft, but... I mean, this is the thing that's hard. These gaps, runaway gaps, runaway gaps, double tops. We'll see. NDAQ said this thing is confirming to me weakness in the long-term charts. Look at this thing hitting all these trend lines just converging. Again, tech is not going to have the demand for their stocks like they are, like people think they are. They're going to go lose all that momentum. They will at some point. MicroStrategy, holy crap. Now, again, here you go. You try to predict. It does what? Sometimes it just goes higher. It just you can't predict everything. I, I mean, are we? Do we fill these gaps? I mean, I don't know. If Bitcoin turns over, you better run. That's all I can really say. You better run. Oh shit! Taki mushrooms. Okay, we'll see what happens. Ooh. I mean, again, I'm not paying attention to this. Maybe I should be. It's getting real close. Man, you got a ton of congestion right here. We'll see what happens. Again, it's when in doubt. Zoom out. But here's the problem. If you're shorting trash, going long trash, you better take the trash out at some point and put it, you know, just walk away. Don't get too greedy. Netflix, speaking of just chopping out, hanging out, right back towards the highs, doji. You would think this would break out. Mm -mm -mm. After hours, down a couple points. The retest, is this going to look like the M for max? We'll see. Roblox, talked about not shorting this one yet. Wait for tech. Again, tech is the hard trade. So if you're early, you have to have stopped out. Nice gap up, and then hits the 0 0.382 on a dime. Long wick. Tesla gets close enough for 200, right? Look at today's action. Doji at the 100-day. Talked about it. Always could get up there. Just keep in mind, like if you tried to short any of these and you just held on to them, you did this wrong. You always have to have some sort of risk management and or layering in system. Like if you're losing constantly, it's really hard to add to a winning, to a trade because it's not showing you a profit as Livermore would say, right? Materials, letter X after hours is I think flat. Uh, yeah, basically flat, had earnings, be careful. I mean, if it has a 30 handle on it, I would probably unload. We'll see, I mean, I don't trust the materials names. Like look how they were acting, right? Some of them, I mean, it's just bad. Newcore, make a new high. Someone said today, uh, you know, uh, it, it looks overvalued. Okay. I, again, I, or overbought. That's what I thought. Pulled back. But again, I don't short based on overbought. All right. Now you're back in. I mean, you're literally right back at the highs, like the closing highs. Let's see what happens here. I mean, do you trust this to short it? Again, I'd rather short tech because I think very easily they're going to get smoked. Valley, here's the name that you would think would be ripping today. Eh, breaking, confirming, confirming potentially weakness. Copper, arrow name. Arrow, uh-oh, uh-oh. Wide and loose at the highs, big candles. Potential capitulation. CCJ, talked about getting into the 28, 29 range. You better watch out, you better not cry. Feel the gap, I'm telling you why. This thing could get drugged to the ground. No, you gotta be careful. I mean, these names have done really well. I mean, I personally like materials long-term. I talked about that. CF, secret, 
desire to fill the gap down here in the 74 range. Names that should be acting well aren't. Mosaic. Hey, it gets to 50. Cool. All right. We'll see what happens here. Maybe it can get to these old trend lines. Again, I, I don't have any positions on these, so I'm not really that keen on them right now. But what did I say yesterday? Watch the 200 day for NTR, for example. However, I will say the only trade that I have in the materials that is short is Caterpillar. Why? Gap down on earnings. Continuation. It's not, if it can't act well when the market's up, what's coming? You were like, oh, did you cover him? I'm like, no. I covered some on this day, right? And talked about it. When it dropped, we talked about it and then added back at the 20 day. So far, so good. Held the 50 day. That's cool. Watch the 20 day to re add, reload, whatever. AA. And someone said this is overbought. You know, we talked about it. like, no, I just hit the range and backed off. This name should be up. It's not. Just keep an eye on it. Let's talk about some other sectors like financials. They're on fire, right? Eh. Leading the market higher. Eh. Up against the range highs. Ding, 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 ding. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here because I don't think financials are kicking forward. Again, don't you think that big, this should be a big green candle? Nope. Oops, finishes up 11 whopping cents. JP Morgan should be up like $3. Eh, down 65 cents. Something's wrong. Morgan Stanley. That's cool. Gets back up near its, I think, did it fill its gap? Yeah, oh, it made a new high. Okay, but still cannot close over the trend line. Worth a watch. Put that on your watch list. Again, GS Sweet. Sweet Goldman Sachs. Is that a lower high and a longer wick? Again, all these things just keep an eye on them. XBI. Up 2% and change. All right. Nat. I was going to say, like, there you go. Fills the gap. And I said it. Could it get up to this natural progression of the trend lines? I don't know. Again, I'm not shorting this thing. But if you're in it and you're winning it, please take profits. I was just curious. Wow. Southern Copper down 3%. Man, market's real strong right now. Materials just don't see. Again, materials let up. Are they going to lead down? Ask yourself that question. Take notes. If materials let up and they start leading down, is the market going to follow? Solar! Tan. Hits the range highs. Absolute gorgeous. Did you short any? Should be short some. ENPH. We talked about this one's a little harder. They got earnings coming up. Uh, stuck here. It's probably not going to go anywhere. Sedgerton. I, think, I don't know if they had earnings yet or not. I can't remember. Either way, I, again, be careful in all of these names. You're up against... What I consider massive short points. Force Solar. First Solar. Man, that was doing well. Did it? Down $11. Things that aren't bearish. Bullish. Breaks the 20 day. We talked about this choppy consolidation pattern. When it rolls, it's going to roll. Got some hole in this house. We're going to roll in this house. No, wait. I'm trying to like create a song out of something. Let's just update this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's crazy how my old alarm lines up with the 0.618, is it? I mean, again, if oil and gas are doing what we're doing, what they're doing, do you really trust that solar is going to hold up? Absolutely not. Who's buying solar right now? That's not good for oil. That doesn't look right. That's all I can really say on it. UNG, I'm, please don't buy this. I just don't. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't trust natural gas. I, I don't. I, I just don't even want to think about it. Exxon Mobil, or sorry, XOP again. Oil and gas names, let up. What are they doing? Rolling over. Now people are saying, oh, it's money rotating. Okay. Okay, we'll see what happens. Inflation, deflation. Again, you can really overthink this stuff. I just, when the market pulls back, the onion peels, everybody cries. That's what I say. And so are these names preceding the peel back in the market? I think they are. Not, oh, it's a rotation. I don't think it's a rotation, y'all. I think it's rotation to what? More pain. <laughs> pain. ExxonMobil. Again, hits the monthly highs. Does not what you want to see if you think it's bullish. PXD, we said, man, why is this one just not working? Every day, down, 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 down. End it with EQT and a quick rant. Going nowhere. All right, please be safe out there. Be thoughtful. Again, if you're watching the after hours action with your life, like it matters, please don't. Take the mental break. Step away from the computer. Have yourself a glass of wine. I don't know. Wh whatever you need to relax. Don't sit around and be dialed into the casino 24 hours a day. There is a certain point with what? You don't need, literally, to, to watch it. You, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. So please, do me, yourself, and everyone in your family a favor. 
Be smart. Try to think about the bigger moves. I'm telling you, traps are hard. If you've been around for a while, I'll just end it here with the XOP trap. Do you guys remember this one? Y'all remember this? This epic blow off? And then kapoom. Right? Kapoom. Right? Like, look at the cues. Look at some of these tech names. We talk about the trash floats last. This is a huge move. Is the bear market over? You bet your ass it's not. Remember, the VIX, you're not going to see a bear market end with what? Without a VIX test of at least, at least up into the 40s. Look at the past. Look at the past. Look at the past. The bear market ain't over, y'all. And people are just going to go all in bullish and ignore, like we said, in August. They're going to go, oh, do you remember in August? You were like, oh, the bear market. Everyone said the bear market's over. This is why people, I'm always like, be careful. Sometimes you got to be early because look what happens. By sometimes, and again, if the jobs number, I'm just telling you right now, if the jobs number comes out and it is not good, watch the hell out because you might have an epic gap down. And if it holds up, then you know your levels. I'll end it on that. Be safe. Be smart. Please stop trying to predict every move, every minute of every day. Try to be more aware of your own emotions and trying to trade. Talk to you later. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, stop by the Discord room. A link is in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support more free content, your PayPal link is in the description as well. I appreciate your continued support of the channel.